Take any readers, and today we're going to look at the campaign. As you're progressing through the campaign, you will find that it's quite easily to complete once you, when you have your starter champion, the war priest, the sniper. The first barrier you'll hit in the campaign is Felwyn's Gate, and that's simply because it is a negative affinity to your starter champion. And this is where the war priest comes in handy. So sort of kitting her out with the life gear you get improves her survivability and just leveling that up to 8 getting her to level 30 carry her through this point of the game without too much of an investment will be a good option so you want to have your star champion level 30 your war priest level 30 preferably level 8 gear to fill the spots and you will easily break through that barrier there then as you progress you'll get through these stages quite easily then the next barrier you're going to hit is the Vladimir Straits. Now once again this is for the reason of the enemies are a force affinity so that means that they are once again going to be difficult for your starter champion to fight and you're going to be relying on war priest to push you through and help you in that area. If you get to this point and you have not yet got your lifesteal gear and your daily logins haven't given you the full lifesteal set yet really focusing on this and try and prove your champions so you can get through these stages will help you get lifesteal earlier to progress at a faster rate lifesteal on a early game account is fantastic because you don't have a real dedicated healer so the gear helps keep your team alive because you're going to regenerate 30 percent of the health back from the damage that you deal on each stage there's a specific piece of equipment that you can you can use and if you want some really fast equipped lifesteal gear you can do stages one two and three because the primary stat will always be the same try and get an uncommon three star piece of gear with a decent sub stat equip that and level it from there you can always go further down and try some of the gear but you will always get on day one four star epic lifesteal boots with speed sub stats as you daily log in roll. once you have those four pieces on you're pretty much set up to complete all of the campaign if you're already there and you want to push now definitely farm here and try and get the rewards that you can might be a bit sluggish might use a bit of energy but you will do it and you will get past once you get this gear to level eight with decent stats your start champions recovering its health then you're going to push through the campaign as you're pushing through you want to just carry on leveling champions this stage here can be a nightmare it's probably one of the hardest areas to get through where you start a champion. They have a skull crown, so you can't one hit kill her. She will get unkillable killable when you drop her below a certain point of health, and then she can hit quite hard at the same time, so she's annoying as it is. And then they also have Gladiator, which can stun or start a champion, as well as dealing a lot of damage. So a combination of them can be quite annoying. Once you finally get through these, you then have to fight the boss. So the boss, once again, is force negative to you so you can get weak hits and he's also accompanied by two of those gladiators with the stuns also the boss of the stage can put block active skills so it can stop you from using all these skills apart from your basic so making sure that you've got you need that life steal for to keep you going you need your war priest with decent gear level eight your other two supporting champions in at least level eight gear that we've got complementary stats um, then you get to brimstone path and it gets easier so because most of these champions are of the spirit affinity, your starter champion will just tear through these. The only stage where it shows a bit of difficulty is the first stage, simply because of the force on Soul Drinker and the bombs he places. It can cause your starter champion to end up blowing himself up. But once you get through there, every other stage is easy. The boss of this stage is a lot easier to defeat all you have to be careful of is the rng proc of him getting a, a big hitting skill which ignores your defenses and can cause a lot of damage once you beat normal you get a void shard go watch my shard pulling video you don't want to waste that void shard once you get to the hard difficulty it's the exact same process again you push your way through so if you get stuck and you can't progress any further 
have a look, see if you can improve your gear with more lifesteal gear. You've now got an increased star level available to you. So you can, the max is now four star, not three. So you could try and upgrade your gear by getting better star gear there. If not, try dropping back to a place of Arivia, leveling your champions up, fa farming to try and get the star level up. And in doing so, you could get some decent speed gear. Now, you will collect stars as you play through all these stages. All your rewards are dependent on you getting your three stars. The reason why I save the three star in is because, let's say you got through all campaign, you got normal, hard, you're now sat at brutal, you've starred up your star champion, you sat at five star, you've progressed your food, and what I do then is I save that till that point, because as a five star with allies, you can easily progress through and complete all of the brutal and get to stage 12 free so if you can complete all the campaign by then you want to be able to level your starter champion up as fast as possible but also at the same time gain something else as you're doing it and that's what i save the three star in for you can free star all of the hard campaign and leveling up your starter champion to level 50 get maximum xp 100% of the XP will be put straight into your starter champion and the same goes for 6 star you could save that and do that on Brutal 3 star so not only are you leveling up your starter champion but you're also using that energy to gain all the stars for the, for the uh, campaign rewards so for each energy you're getting twice as much benefit and plus there's all the drops and things like that you get for fighting each stage as well now we spoke about how to progress and how I use the star the starring system for my benefit. I best quickly mention how to get the three stars. You get one star for each certain challenge. So beating a stage is one star. Beating a stage without anybody dying is two star. Then beating a stage with no one dying with only two champions or less. So one or two champions. That's how you get your three star. If you hit a wall where you, your starter champion's not doing it what you want them to do, try doing a manual. If you need an ally, just put it, pick one ally that you've got at your strongest point and then put them in. And then as soon as you've got past that, that barrier, take them out and return to using maximum XP for your starter champion. Don't be afraid to use the campaign to farm gear. It's a very good place to fill those gear slots. Yes, I know the dungeons are give all the best gear and the highest rarity you're not going to get that gear as fast in the dungeons it is much easier to go to the campaign and find the gear that you want there and then go to the dungeons coming to the campaign and just farming this one stage guarantees that every time you run this stage you're going to get a chest piece of accuracy whereas if you go to the dungeons there's so many different sets and so many different pieces of gear the chances of getting a chess piece with a stat you want are much much smaller for energy efficiency wise you may as well come to the campaign get the gear you want with the primary stat will give you a huge advantage rather than spending a week trying to find that one piece of gear if your luck's not good enough and still not getting the piece of gear that you need and not progressing any further in the dungeons the last thing i want to point out with a campaign is in every stage of the campaign you will get a chance of rare uncommon champions and some of these champions can be very helpful for your progression in the game even if it's just so that you use until the five star and then you turn a champion that you want to keep for long term into a six star that's everything for today's video i've spoken in detail about the campaign if i missed anything out please let me know leave me a comment if you like what you've seen give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you need any more help have a look on the playlist for the raid academy and you're more than welcome to visit my free to play playlist and follow me from day one i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one